Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Department of Homeland Security, United States Customs and Border Protection, thank you for joining us today to recognize the fallen heroes of U.S. Customs and Border Protection. We will begin today's ceremony with the National Anthem. Now we will hear from Chaplain Manuel Rodriguez, Jr., U.S. Border Patrol, for today's invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today in your presence to bring honor to whom all honor is due, to remember the men and women of Customs and Border Protection who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in their service to our nation and its citizens. We come together not only to preserve the memory of those who have gone before us, but to also ask for your blessings and protection upon those who are in service today. I not only ask of this for those in Customs and Border Protection, but for all those who serve in law enforcement, for all who protect and defend our way of life as well as our freedoms. May your blessings be upon us all. May your spirit guide us in wisdom. May your righteousness cause us to serve with honor, vigilance, and integrity. May you watch over our families and homes. May you protect this great nation, its leaders and citizens. May we live together in a spirit of unity and brotherly love, and may this nation stand as a beacon of freedom for all to see, and may the memories of those whom we are honoring always be a blessing. In your name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Customs and Border Protection's Acting Commissioner, Mark A. Morgan. Thank you, and good morning. I'm honored to welcome you to the United States Customs and Border Protection's 2020 Valor Memorial and Wreath Lane Ceremony. Every year we gather to pay tribute to our fallen agents and officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to this great nation. This year, despite the unprecedented global crisis we find ourselves in, we are committed to doing the same safely and respectfully. This solemn observance is far too important to postpone or cancel in its entirety because it honors the very best among us. Last year we suffered the tragic loss of two United States Border Patrol agents, Donna Doss on February 2nd and Robert Houghton on October 6, 2019. And this year we are honoring the 2012 loss of air interdiction agent James Litz. Next year at CBP's 2021 ceremony, we will recognize these heroes once again to ensure that they are provided the traditional and full tribute, along with two other fallen heroes from our legacy components. Immigration Inspector Frederick Bathy, end of watch, 1897, and Customs Service Inspector John Fallon, end of watch, 1890. Their deaths serve as a harsh reminder of the inherent risks and dangers associated with the calling of law enforcement. And these kinds of dangers, they're also confronted with our four-legged partners as well. Last December, we lost a Border Patrol canine, Boulder, in El Paso to hostile action. 
The men and women of CBP have always shown a willingness to step up, to enforce the rule of law, to help those that can't help themselves, and to run toward danger rather than run from it. It takes a special kind of person to do that. It takes character, courage, and commitment to be a part of something greater than yourself. The kind of character and courage and commitment that a CBP employee showed last year when he pursued a gunman who had opened fire on worshipers who had simply gathered to pray. The kind of character, courage, and commitment that CBP employees displayed earlier this year when they took heavy gunfire while they were helping local law enforcement apprehend an armed and dangerous felon. And the kind of character, commitment, and courage that a CBP employee showed just a few weeks ago as they rescued a young illegal immigrant child from drowning. I could go on and on and re recite countless examples of this, as you all know. We see it every single day from the men and women of this great organization. Character, courage, and commitment, they're the hallmarks of the law enforcement profession. These virtues define us. They are truly who CBP are. It's who you are. It's who all of us are. And these virtues unite us all. I know the risk of putting on the badge all too well. After 30 years of service to this great nation, I understand that the men and women, every single day, when they get up and they put that badge on, I understand the risk that they face. And I know all too well the profound grief that we all experience when we go to a funeral after they have given the ultimate sacrifice. Unfortunately, I'm sure you as well, we've attended way too many funerals in our career. The current public health crisis, it reminds us just how, how complex and vast the threats are that you face every single day, and it's never ending. As our nation confronts this invisible enemy, our officers and agents are on the front lines 24-7, they're getting the job done. And now more than ever, ever, they are putting their lives on the line to protect this great nation. And they're, they're human, just like the rest of us. And they, they're worried about their loved ones, their health. Heck, they're worried about their own health. Yet they get up every single day with that burden on their shoulders, and they go to work every single day on the front lines of this great nation, protecting us all, protecting you, protecting me. In closing, I want to emphasize that the heart of a hero, and I mean that, the heart of a hero lies beneath every single badge, every single day. And today, we honor those heroes whose watches were tragically cut short, who gave their all in the service of this great nation. Thank you. We will now hear from Border Patrol agent Elena Guerrero playing taps. in memory of our fallen heroes, Acting Commissioner Morgan, Deputy Commissioner Perez, and our operational leaders will present a white rose.
Ladies and gentlemen, CBP officer Jonathan G. Ripton will play Amazing Grace as we display the names of our fallen. Please join us for the benediction by Chaplain Richard Mistel, Office of Field Operations. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we conclude this service today, we come to you with hearts of thanksgiving. We give you thanks for all the blessings we receive from you, not only for those blessings that are seen, but especially for those that are unseen. Today's service was different, 
But as we go through trying times, we know that you are with us through it all, and for that we thank you. We ask a special blessing in memory of all the officers and agents that have made the ultimate sacrifice for this great nation. This year, we remember our fallen, Border Patrol Agent Doss, Border Patrol Agent Hodden, Air Interdiction Agent Litz, U.S. Customs Inspector Fallon, and Immigration Inspector Bathy. We honor these whose names have been read today in our ceremony for the first time. And so too, we ask a special prayer for their families, that you place your arms of comfort around them, these families who have also made the ultimate sacrifice. Please continue to console them through the difficult days, months, and years ahead. Lord, as we prepare to conclude our memorial, we ask a special blessing for all of our Customs and Border Protection leaders, especially now. We ask that you help guide and direct them to make sound decisions based on your will. We pray that you watch over all of our Customs and Border Protection employees and their families. Keep our officers and agents safe. Be with them, guide them, protect them in their health as they protect our nation. Father, we need you in our lives now more than ever. Please continue to watch over us, protect us, guide us and lead us through this year, through this confusing time, and through our lives each and every day. In your almighty name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Thank you.